What's up, everybody? Well, I got another Asus G15 gameplay video for you guys. My good tripod's still broken, so just using what I can to get the shots I need at the beginning of my videos for now. So sorry if they don't look as professional as usual, but hopefully the new tripod will be here soon. I just checked this morning, still hasn't even shipped yet. I probably accidentally, even though it's Prime, I probably bought something from fucking China, so it's probably gonna take a goddamn week to get here, but eh, it is what it is, my own fault for being antsy and trying to get one as fast as possible. Hell, in hindsight, if I wanted one fast, I should've just bought one of those $150 ones, but even though I can afford it, I'm always one of those people that's like, eh, is it really that much better than the $50 one though? Like, what the fuck does it do that the that it can't do that the $151 one can do and, and vice versa, you know? I like to do pros and cons, because I've had cheap ass shit. Like, here's a great example. My little tool kit that I have, that thing is like 12 bucks compared to like the $30 iFixit kit. And yet it still lasted me all of this time I've had this YouTube channel and before. So that's pretty fucking awesome. Anyway though, enough rambling. We're gonna try out um, some Modern Warfare 2.0 today. And we're gonna start off at 1080p. And then we're gonna work our way up the resolutions until we get to our desktop counterpart. So let's start off with 1080p. And without any further ado, let's get into the game. And well, hook it up to the capture computer, get into the game and get some gameplay. Well, all right. Let's look through these settings real quick before we get into the game. Well, we're going to start with minimum graphic settings. And then with this game, every single time, I'm going to quit completely out of the game after uh, setting up the next graphic setting, and then I'm going to go and redo the shader optimization every time as well. That way we can get some decent gameplay in, because I was watching some other people and they were having problems just changing stuff live. The game was going down like 20 FPS and shit, so I'm not gonna let that happen. All right, and with that, let's go get into the game. Well, here we go with minimum, which obviously since it's lower than, na than native res, it's gonna look like ass, but here we go. Lots of FPS though. So I feel since we're getting nowhere near 100% utilization, we're bottlenecked by the CPU a little, but that's what happens if you go too low. Where shall I go to here? Oh, well, we'll just go off somewhere. What? I can slow my descent and cover more ground by opening my chute? What madness is this? Don't tell anyone. No one must know of the secret. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I was hoping to land over the damn thing, but whatever. You can't win them all. All right, go, go, go. Let's find some shit. Oh, what the fuck? Was there a gun in there? I didn't even notice. I'm not used to fucking duffel bags. I'm used to just those things. All right, now we've got a fucking gun. So if anybody tries to shoot at me, I can at least shoot back with more than a fucking pistol. Pistols and me don't usually get along in these games. I was great with them in Counter-Strike, but in this one, I can aim right at somebody's face like a, like a millimeter away from their head, shoot them a hundred times. And it's like, all right, well, you did one damage. All right, they turned around and meleeed you once. You lose. I'm like, oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> so I don't really like pistols that much in this game. Ooh. Mm, now nah, we'll keep it this way. All right, so you can get guns out of there. All right, now I know for sure. Kind of can smash through windows. I have no sound whatsoever, just so everyone knows. I'm playing completely deaf. All right, let's go up behind this rock and move on. All right, basic now, which at least puts us at native resolution of 1080p now. And let's just go through the settings real quick so you guys can see what all the basic... Uh, preset changes. There's quite a few fucking settings in this game. I mean, you could spend hours just fiddling with these settings if you wanted to get it perfectly custom to your liking, and that's why I like PCs. Anyway, well, now let's get a little basic gameplay in. I feel like we're getting actually better frame rate now, now that we're not as bottleneck. Yeah, we're getting more CPU utilization now. Or at least getting up to 80, 90 here and there. Before we were in like high 60s, low 70s, I think.
Still, though, it looks like we're not getting full utilization. So we still got a small bottleneck. All right, where shall I fly over to this time? Let's go to that big ass building way over there. That thing looks pretty neat. It almost looks like a fucking palace. Somebody's shooting at somebody behind me. Huh, it looks like a freaking, whatchamacallit, that St. Louis freaking thing down there. What the heck do they call that freaking monument? Is it literally just, no, it's, is it called the Spirit of St. Louis? I don't know what the fuck it's called. Somebody from there can tell me if they ever see this and want to correct me. Oh, my phone is vibrating. Why? All right, at least we're landing here. Oh, it's because I got a new bed on my graphics card. Yep, I had to put that back up, my 3080. Somebody tried scamming me. <laughs> they sent me a picture of, sorry, friend, I accidentally bought this, but I have to go and to my save my sick dad or something like that and didn't even type it out they just sent me a picture of it and they didn't even say what item it was they just said the item and it's like okay no dude you made your account like today and like a million other red flags sorry bro i'm canceling this order you're not fooling me you probably stole that credit card you used so now whoever they stole it from gets their money back they don't get a product and i can just sell it to somebody else who will hopefully just give me money and have a confirmed address, and have not be trying to scam me. <laughs> anyway, though, let's get behind this wall and move on. Well, it looks like it's time for some balance now. So let's scroll on through here. And all right, let's move on. Well, here we go with some balanced gameplay now. Right, we're definitely doing better now. We're not getting as much FPS, but at least we're getting more CPU, or uh, GPU, uh, what do you call it, GPU utilization. We're in the 90s now. So much better. Don't get me wrong, I figured I'd be getting a lot more FPS than this, honestly. I figured I'd be in like the 130s at least. Let's see what I get when I get to the ground, though. Because to my knowledge, this capture card does not take any performance away. Unless there's some weird bug or something I don't know about with AMD GPUs. I always duplicate the screen to it. Because when I just say uh, screen only, like I do when I hook it up to an external, it always just shows a small weird little picture on the monitor. <clears throat> Or in the OBS window, and it doesn't look right, so I don't like doing that. Huh. What the heck? That must be like some freaking oh UAVs. All right, let's take a hit and try not to cough our ass off. It'll be like one of the first of the day. Because I was going to do this stuff last night, but then I figured, nah, I'm not going to push myself too hard. Just started feeling better. Sure is a lot of smoke down there. Uh, like moonwalking with the fucking parachute there, shit. All right, what do we got in here? Brag, right. right, I'll take that. Ooh, more armor. Huh, you only get two plates now? I gotta swear I used to get three. It wasn't letting me insert anymore, so I'm assuming that's it. Now moving on to Ultra. 
I did bump the anti-aliasing up to high. Because that's the one thing that doesn't seem to get changed here with the presets or whatever, is anti-aliasing quality and the type. Anyway, to the game. Well, let's get a little ultra gameplay now. We're getting under 100 FPS. Over 60, but I don't know about you guys, but with first person shooters, I personally like to stay over 100 at the bare minimum. I'd prefer closer to 140 or whatever. 165, somewhere around there seems just about perfect. Heck, some people like 200, 300. I would like to get more use out of my 300 hertz 1080p screen on my laptop, but unfortunately this uh, GPU just can't push it in a lot of games and stuff like Valorant, Counter-Strike, hell yeah. But in harder to run games like this and Fortnite even, can't, can't quite handle it. But that's okay, it's still playable. It's not like I'm a fucking Call of Duty god or anything. I think my usual KD is like 3.5 to 4.20. So I'm all right. But I think that's right around average, so. Not, uh, nothing to be sad about, but nothing to sit there and brag about either. Ooh, there's another guy here. All right. I was trying to get up fucking there. I gotta practice my fucking parachuting here. Alright, go, go, go. Ooh, alright, gun. And two guns already. Fuck yeah. Sweet. We're getting all sorts of cool shit. Alright, we'll keep that. That had a sight on it already. I'd be foolish to give up a gun that has a sight on it. No matter what it is, really. Ooh, money. And a plate. And more money. I like money. Ooh, more stuff. And a duffel bag, too. Ooh, more cash. Don't mind if I do. All right, though, why don't we go ahead and move on? Well, now it's time for extreme quality preset here, and I did turn the anti-sync quality up to ultra quality. So let's scroll on down to the bottom before we get back into the game. And that's it. That's the bottom. So why don't we get into the game? All right, extreme gameplay now. Gas is closing on your position. Suggest you get moving. All sorts of people followed me this way. What can we find around here? Probably not a lot. 
Yeah, at least I found something. Hey, I found a three-plate armor vest now, so that's what you have to do to get three now, huh? All right, well, at least it's different. Ah, oh, sneaky. I already had one of those, but whatever. I'll take that. Let's move on. Last up, let's do a little FSR on extreme here. I'm pretty sure it's quality, but it is only FSR 1.0, so it doesn't look very good. But we'll still do it anyway for the people that are interested. Well, alrighty, let's go get into the game. All right, now for a little FSR. I'm pretty sure this is the quality setting, but it doesn't really say, so who really knows? Where shall we go? Guess off this way. Well, for one thing, I don't know if it's just allocating it or it's actually using it, but damn, it's saying 10.9 gigs of VRAM. And this is only 1080p. Everybody else is already down there getting ready, so I'm going to go farther away a little. Because they've already got the advantage of a landing and of having weaponry. I'm gonna go off, I think, towards this weird looking building over here. And I'm being tracked. What? Oh, bounty averted. Targets are up. Get to work. Ooh, gun already. Cool. And money? Oh, I didn't pick up the money. I thought I did. I guess I didn't. Oh, well. Whoops, went a little too fast there. All right, though, why don't we go ahead and wrap this up? Well, all right, guys, as a wrap for Call of Duty Warzone 2.0, at least at 1080p. Now, I'm still going to do 1440p and ultra wide and all that, but I can't get any camera gameplay because I don't have anything I can really set this thing on. I can, like, set it down and get, like, wide-angle shots for, like, the intros and outros of my videos, but I don't really have anywhere to, like, set it nicely in front of my monitor and just get some camera recording gameplay where it's not interfering with the FPS. So it's going to be all screen recorded, unfortunately. At least until they ship me my new freaking, what you would call it, tripod. Which hopefully won't be too much longer. But just to check today, it still hasn't shipped yet. It probably is coming from freaking China, so it'll probably will be a while. That kind of sucks, but hey, it is what it is. I mean, if it takes them too long, I might just go with fucking Best Buy tomorrow or something. Or the day after, just buy one. And then just return it afterwards or something. Or keep it, that way I have two in case one breaks, boom, redundancy. Have another one ready to go, you know? 
Anyway, enough rambling. Time to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until the next one, peace out, guys.